an outrageous time in the morning. These boys have been up already for over half an hour here at a morning assembly where they are inspired by a meditation from Pastor Ron. They're heading off to breakfast now. I am surprised and shocked that you're able to get up early in the morning to hear the meditation from Pastor Ron. Don't you feel you're missing out on your sleep? Uh, well, sometimes. I really wish I could sleep in. How are your counselors able to get you out of bed? It's the bugle call that gets us out of bed. Tell me about this bugle call. What happens? Well, for almost every event, the bugle sounds. They sleep out in the outdoors. They cook their own breakfast. It is amazing that they even survive one day. So what's for breakfast this morning? French toast, I think. Could you speak some French words for me? Bonjour. I'm here this morning at Color Area Orange. Do they have appeal? Is this the cadre that has orange appeal? Yes. Oh yeah, we got appeal. This might be the most appealing cadre yet to meet. What are you boys up to here this morning? Nothing, just getting water out of a big tank. Why do you have to come to this primitive tank. Because we don't have water at our campsite. So what's for breakfast this morning? Uh, French toast and sausage. What is it that you have here? Well, I'm scrambled eggs right now. We're going to put this on a pan and make French toast. Will that allow you to speak French? Uh, no. I don't think so. <laughs> no. No, it does not. Are you the head chef? Yes, yes I am. And what is it that you do specifically to make it just right for these friends of yours? Um, I always make sure before I mix it that there's no shell. How has the food been at camp? It's pretty good, actually. Yeah. You've been able to eat every meal? Most of it, yeah. What animal does French toast come from? Wheat. Chicken eggs, I guess. Mr. Ron, you've obviously taught these boys well. I don't teach, I just come and eat. Here in the Orange community, I have found something that is different. As a reporter, I am here to investigate, to find out what this is. Inside this tent, what do we find but plush accommodations? These adjutants should be shameful, embarrassed about what they have done here. I, myself, as Wolf Brown, would never, never need these accommodations. It's a beautiful thing to come upon this meditation here this morning where the men are teaching the boys how to live for Jesus. Breaking news, we have just learned that it is Tyler's birthday today. Tyler, how old are you today? 13. Do you feel like a man? Yeah. You sure look different than yesterday. I think it has happened. The transformation is here at Camp Whitetail. Boys becoming men. Wolf, we're so honored that you came to camp and we wanted to give you something. We scraped together a pie for you today. <laughs> Delectable food here at Orange 5 at Camp Whitetail.